a plow life. I'm going to show you a little trick today about something I've been doing for probably 10 years to make your cutting edge last at least another season or more depending on how much commercial and curbs you run but uh, I take a, a piece of half inch steel and I put it on here. Now you can use angle so it covers this and that together. I didn't have any angle so I just welded a piece of half inch even with the bottom however far in you want to go and I run it out about a half an inch. That's what hits the curbs. It saves your cutting edge hugely. This is two years on this cutting edge and look at all look at how much of that's still left. So even with the bottom it rides on that. This will save your cutting edge hugely because on the ends is where it wears out we all know that and the second biggest thing is always run your shoes put your shoes as close as you can to the bottom of your cutting edge when the cutting edge starts to wear it'll wear evenly with the shoes I know you'll get a lot of uh, criticism about this from plow guys because I know I know a whole bunch of them <laughs> and they tell me uh, you should never run your shoes because the cutting edge doesn't uh, cut as good, which is all bull. I've tried it with it. I've tried it without it. My lots still dry up when the sun comes out and turn to tar, just as well as uh, if I didn't run the shoe. So it's uh, a neat little trick, and it saves your cutting edge so much. If you don't have a welder, you're going to have to have somebody tack them on for you. But it's definitely worth the, the effort. Uh, any more questions or want to know anything else about Boss Plows? V or straight? Uh, leave a message below and I'll try to explain it to you. Or I'll make a video on it or whatever I can do. A plow life. Bye.